And whenever you do these, do you do them like hand drawn or do you like stencils? How do you do this? Oh, like, heck no, dude. I wish I could freehand all of them, but they all have to be so exact that I have to do stencils. <laughs> How long does the stencil work take, like, to make them? I see that you're making one right now. Yeah, uh, I started like right when I woke up, so probably like, I don't know, an hour or two. <laughs> you have to kind of find the picture that you like, and yeah, I don't know, it takes about two hours. To make the stencil? Yeah, it's like a three, four layer process. When did this pop up? What kind of pushed you a little to go for it? To start making yeah, a good tape? So, uh, I freaking, my car was taking shits on me, like, left and right like crazy, and uh, pretty much all my money was going into that, and I was like, pretty much like, darn near broke, man, like every fucking paycheck, it would just go like, straight to my car, and uh, to be honest, dude, I was really, really sick of it, I was just like, I can't do this anymore, I, I need, something needs to change, and so, uh, I didn't really tell anyone, but I freaking quit. Quit the weeds. I've been like almost a month clean now. And instead of putting my last bit of like money into and like an eighth of weed, I instead invested in to like something that was actually gonna benefit me. And so I put like literally my last dollar into like some cans and a few sheets of grit. And yeah, dude, it was freaking insane, like the hype it got from it. I pretty much just did whatever I wanted. I had one order like to start with that somebody wanted. I'm not gonna put any names out there, but they totally flaked on me the next day. What was the like, design? Rockley. Rockley? Rockley from Rockley. Naruto. Oh, where, did you sell that one? I did end up selling it, but yeah, that was like my first order and they totally bailed on me and I had like no money. So I was just like, I couldn't freaking believe it. <laughs> but that's life, you know, like, it's all about just like did moving it. on, pushing forward. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, I did end up selling that one, but I had like one or two other sheets to mess with. So I ended up just like moving on and just kept pushing it, man. And like, uh, yeah, and then B ends up working at the, he works at Impact, so one day he just hits me up and is just like, hey dude, we should totally freaking get your, your grip in the shot. And I was just like, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> How's that been doing right there at Impact? It's been crazy, dude. Like, I don't know, to even like have anyone or like see anyone buying the grip is like insane to me, but... Yeah, I went in there like the other day and this kid was getting one, so I was like, damn. Did you see dude, that in person? That's so crazy. Yeah, I was just stopping by to re up. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is probably the most tedious part of it, but. It's just like sick. cutting out the stencils <laughs> and the pieces. Yeah, man. <laughs> And you just sit here for two hours doing stencil? Yeah, man, I pretty much start my day like this. I spray it all the way until it pretty much it's getting colder. So I don't know, I feel like it's kind of hard to spray whenever it's cold because it's so hard, it takes so long to dry. And so like, yeah, pretty much whenever it sunsets, I just start painting and yeah. <laughs> so it kind of works out because in the morning you're doing the hard work and then Later on, it's just I'm chilling, kinda, yeah. just sitting here. I got my easel, like bam. But yeah, man, I don't know. Pretty much art rolls everything around me. <laughs> and you said you started getting into art straight out of high school. Yeah, dude, it didn't start until after high school ended. Pretty much, everyone way before. <laughs> wow. Everyone kind of had like a plan after high school and I, I didn't really have anything. I wasn't even thinking about after and I was just like, I don't know, life really hit me right there and then and uh, yeah, it was pretty, I was just like, oh, well, I'm just going to do whatever I thought was fun. <laughs> I really didn't really like get into drugs or anything. So 
I just like got hecka into art to where I just became obsessed. <laughs> yeah. So whenever uh, you do the spray system, how long does it usually take? Uh, I don't know, probably like five, five to 20 minutes. Just guesstimating. the Ralphie stencil done and I just wanted to skate so I was just like dude people need to see this shit so I freaking slapped it on my board because I already had the stencil done and I was out skating like 30 minutes later fucking no problem getting my feet all over it and shit <laughs> shit's good to go though man it's crazy <laughs> so what do you think about the whole process like most people think it's just like I don't know quick easy how do you feel about it Oh man, I mean I freaking enjoy all of it. I, I, I love doing this so to me it's no big deal. I mean it's pretty cool man. I, I have fun with it. <laughs> I'm just skating art like seeing something you, you like from your childhood or just something that inspires you on your grip tape. How does that work for you? Well yeah I was saying earlier we didn't get it on cam but uh, I swear when you look down at it it's like Damn, dude, it just makes you feel like, fuck yeah, just really hyped and just wants to freaking, you want to kill it, dude. That's how I felt, at least, looking down at my, my boy Ralphie picking his nose and shit. <laughs> just makes you laugh, huh? Like, yeah, if, if man, you're starting freaking... to get too serious on a skate trick or something. Yeah, exactly, man. And you just, just see someone, fun. <laughs> you just see someone poking their nose, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> That's freaking sick, dude. I'm happy with that. <laughs> What's the whole future hold for Mo? Man, dude, I wish I could tell you guys. Uh, I'm what? gonna keep slapping these bad boys out. And I don't know, there's some things out there, but I don't really want to talk about them. <laughs> and we'll see when it happens. You were saying that painting, drawing is a little harder than this? Yeah, I feel like the painting totally set me up for this. It's kind of like in the same realm. It kind of like set me up for this, I feel like, with the whole patience thing and whatnot. It's all just seeing your project through. Just having belief in what you're doing, man. You, you think patience is something people really need when they want to get something done? 
man, heck yeah, that's pretty much with everything in life. Things ain't gonna come easy, you know? You gotta work hard for it and put in the work. Everything, everything doesn't go unseen, man. Hard work definitely pays off. <laughs> well, Mo, thank you very much. And if you guys wanna hit up Mo for his grip, hit him up on his Instagram. <laughs> he makes amazing art happen just like this. Yee! <laughs>